So first of all, you probably have a cheap webcam. Now, you'd be surprised how powerful a cheap webcam is. You don't need an expensive webcam to have good quality. But you can ask the question, Dave, my camera is really dark and it's really grainy. You can't really make out what's going on. It looks like shit. The truth is, is that's because your webcam is not getting enough light. So webcams use a system called ISO. ISO is a way of photography, of way interjecting more light into a picture. But the downside is when you inject more light into the picture, you get more grain. So you can see here that ISO 100 is very crystal clear, but ISO 640 is very grainy. So why would you make it grainy? Well, the higher the ISO is, the more light you will get. So it makes the shot more well lit, but it adds grain to the shot. So if you've ever turned your webcam on in the middle of the night and looked at it, it probably looks like this, really grainy. What your webcam is doing is it sees that it's very, very dark. So I'm going to up the ISO so things will be visible. And it actually has an image. It may not be the best image, but it's an image. So how do you get around ISO? Well, you add more lighting. So I have an Elgato, and I'll tell you, you don't need an expensive version of this. This is the most pricey version. And I'll be honest with you, you could probably get away with one half the price. Yeah, here we go. So this is the one that I've got. It sits on my desk. You can adjust the height and adjust the head so it faces you, and you can adjust the brightness. I'll show you the options that I've got on my phone. The reason why this is so expensive is because it's a brand name, and also it has smartphone support. You see this? So I can adjust these settings it's really difficult to do this, to make it colder and brighter. Yep. This is the, make it really cold and then make it really warm. Yep. Does that make sense? So if I was to turn this off, watch this. So if you look really closely right now at my face, and particularly on this side here, you can see a very subtle grain effect. Let me turn off the background blur. So you can see, can you see the grain now? I've got a bruise there. Can you see the grain? Oh, it's not a bruise, it's the light. It's like a... So what the camera is doing now is it detected this lower half of the image doesn't have much light. So I will light this image up by whacking up the ISO. And if you look really closely here, can you see this, this here, this table? It's completely white. What's happened is, is up the ISO, so this image is well lit. Well, this image is now overly exposed. It wants a balance between both. It won't look at me as an individual. Maybe some more advanced webcams do, but for the most part, webcams, cheap webcams, want to look at the overall image. So they'll look at the overall image and say, is it bright? Is it dark? Well, let's adjust it then so it has the correct lighting. For the most part, when you've got a webcam, particularly cheaper ones, you're always looking to add more light because the, the, the camera is always struggling to, to light the image correctly. And in most cases, it is uh, lighting it, not darkening it. Yeah, is that good? Does that explain it? Let me just turn the, the light on again. Boop. You don't even need it on that bright either. There we go. Whew, and look how white my skin is. Caucasian boyo. Okay, so this is what I would recommend. Now, there are obviously way cheaper versions than this. Uh, so we can just type in key light, and then you can get some way cheaper options here. I even got one with filters as well. That's a, a, a light that's got a clamp on it. Mine just sits on my desk. You can buy one of these as well, like a desk lamp, and face it vertically. The problem with these kind of lights, desk lamps, is, is oh, it shows it really well there a second ago. When I watched that video. It casts the light in a very, um, so this is the difference between cheap lights and expensive lights. Cheap lights tend to project light in a very narrow corridor. Can you see how like th this is dark and this is light? Like for instance, if it was an expensive light, the light would be projected more evenly. Uh, but more cheaper lights will project light in more narrow 
corridors. But for the most part, this is, if you've got a webcam that's grainy, getting one of these, just a 20 quid light, putting it vertical and aiming it at your face will make so much difference. You wouldn't even believe. Anyway, that's the talk about lighting. That's the talk about ISO. Let's talk about Ava Media Ooh, Cam. I think it's this one. I could be wrong. I think it's this one. Now, I will admit, this is way too expensive. This is the highest end webcam you can get before you're moving towards a digital SLR, DSLR. Tommy and Asbin Gold's got a DL, digital ASM, uh, ASMR. DL, DSLR. DSLR. Um, there's not a lot to say about this other than it's 4K and it does 1080p 60 FPS. When you're buying a high level webcam, that's technically what you're getting. You're getting more pixels and you're getting the ability to go higher FPS. This currently is 4K 30 FPS. Even though, of course, it's not full amount of pixels because I've cut some of them off and I've shrinked it as well. So obviously you're not getting the full 4K pixels, obviously. Uh, but I just wanted the ability to go to 4K to therefore have more image to show you guys. So this webcam is completely, completely overkill. You do not need that kind of webcam. <sighs> okay, so that's two pieces down the drain. Let me just look at a cheap Logitech webcam. Now my old camera, I think it was one of these. I think you're looking around about 80 to 90 pounds for a really decent webcam. You could probably get away with one of these ones actually. Do you know I actually have one of these, a 50 pound one. I might get it actually and see if I can make it look good with the lighting. I bet I can do it. I bet I can do it. One thing to note too, this is really important as well, is I know I made you aware that it not, not only does it look at me for the lighting, it doesn't just find me to light me, it lights the entire image. So if you're having an issue where you're really well lit, but the background is dark and grainy, you might need to turn on your lights, turn on a backlight or turn on the big light above your head. And therefore the more, more of the image is lit, and then it's less likely the webcam will turn up the ISO. Okay, what is the final piece of equipment? So that's the, the trifecta. A webcam set up correctly. A well-lit environment. Very, 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 very important. I cannot stress that enough. Lighting is the most important part. The webcam is the second. And what is going on here? So, I use something called... NVIDIA broadcast and it artificially adds a blur to the background of my image. Can you see this? There we go. So this is cheap if you've got the right webcam and there's a chance at uh, graphics card, sorry, graphics card. Any graphics card that has GTX, I believe, has support for this. You download the software, it's called NVIDIA Broadcast, and the, the graphics card will render a background blur on your webcam. Now, it's not perfect. Look, look around my head. You see where I move my head? Sometimes it snaps in and snaps out. It's not perfect. You have to really look for it, though. Um, the truth is, if you have an expe a expensive camera, you've got like really narrow aperture, and that will cause that same effect, me being focused and the background being blurry. Of course, it's not an expensive webcam. It's a cheap webcam compared to like paying 1,000 to 2,000 pounds, dollars, whatever, for an expensive DSLR. This is a 200 pound camera. So it has to be a GeForce, R oh, it has to be RTX. RTX, that's the support. So what happened is at one point, Nvidia started adding uh, a chip on the graphics card called the RTX chip. And that's the one that does ray tracing. But it also has the added functionality of doing funky things like background burn, auto framing, like, oh, and oh, uh, shit like that. It also has noise removal and echo removal as well. Good times. So you see, I have a GTX 260. I have a 270. A Quadro RTX 3000 or a Titan RTX or higher. Pretty much all the higher end graphics cards. How much is this? Jeez, they're so expensive at the minute. Oh my God, guys, I really feel sorry for you guys. These graphics cards are so expensive.
This is 379. That's the cheapest. Oh, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This, the graphics card market at the moment is a right ball ache. Thank crypto for that. But no, that's it, guys. And that is the secret how I've got my webcam the way it looks. Software, a blur, background blur, good lighting, and a mediocre, mediocre webcam. The total cost of this, if you've already got the webcam, if you go for my hardware, is about 280, 290 pounds. So about $350. So it's not ground-breakingly expensive. And to be truthful, you don't need as a hardcore webcam as this. And you don't need as a hardcore branded light as this. So I guess the point I'm getting is it this is the most professional webcam setup that you can get on a budget. So this is the setup here. Can you see the key light here? This is the key light mounted on the desk. Uh, it's not a clamp, it's just sat on the desk. You can see the stand here. Um, and then you can see that the webcam is mounted. Once again, just sat on top of this monitor. Once again, this is not an expensive setup. This is not an expensive setup. I'll say it again. This is, dog this is as professional as you can get on a budget.